This is the Gods and Queens mod featuring Moog, Lord of Blood, and obviously we're using the Ronnie mod too. It's pretty interesting. One thing to note about this mod, it is a bolt hell mod, and many weapon arts and spells have been changed, and unfortunately, because we're using a sorcerer, you also see some weird wacky spells. The focus though is trying to kill Moog. A lot of this is playtesting. There's already been thing at least 250. This is just some of the final bosses in the push to make sure everything is viable. And so you guys will see a lot of failure, potentially, given how utterly ridiculous this boss is. Fortunately, Ronnie has gone through a lot and we should be able to do this. To break down the fight, Moog starts off throwing fire. The fire. The fire can expire. He also has blood talon, which will explode into multiple fireballs that move forward, making it harder to avoid the blood talons. Here you can see the explosions when the fire expires. It creates a celestial cloud, which is an indicator of a more dangerous explosion to come after, creating spires and more bloodborns. While the fire is active, Swarms of flies spawn. These swarms of flies will chase the player indefinitely until they expire. When they expire, they have a delay before spawning a portal, such as what Moog does on his attacks, that will rain blood. This blood will nearly instantly kill the player with immense blood status and creates more. It's best to avoid getting caught behind the flies. This fight presents many challenges and the fire has limited instances that can be placed around the map along with a swarm of flies. This is to prevent performance issues for the player and also to make sure the fight is steadily increasingly gets worse. Moog still maintains the same basic attacks along with the original idea behind this boss fight, except there are just more projectiles added to the fight through various spawn instances, such as the swarm of flies, the blood rain, the explosions, the pools of blood that are left after the explosions that expire. This only applies minor bleed status. This fight is best equipped when you are capable of dealing with bleed. Moog still will enrage as every other boss in the Gods of Queen mod. He will still also transition to his next phase, making this a form of formidable boss fight. As, as we see the transition to the next phase, this is still the same. However, Moog will become much stronger. And while he heals most of his health back, in second phase, Moog now acquires fire on his weapon along with healing. This is the same as vanilla. However, now this means he spreads fire along with his aerial attacks presenting more and more fire around the arena with more rapid explosions and more damage when he enrages as you can see the arena is already covered in fire and we have barely moved our character presents one of the most dangerous boss fights in the entire mod as all demigods have received immense buffs mode being the most minor changes due to the playstyle of his boss fight the sheer addition of additional projectiles, explosions, and the swarm of flies makes this one of the most difficult boss fights, as you cannot stay immobile during his boss fight. During second phase, the amount of flies that spawn nearly doubles due to the sheer amount of fire that is placed around the arena, and while you're forced to run, Moog will continue to place fire. This is Moog, Lord of Blood. Alright Moog, come on, come on, come on, I know you got it in you. Um, you got- ow. This- this is a fun boss. Let's use no spirit summons unless we have to, which they have been buffed. Come on. Oh, what did I put in there? Uh-oh, I made a mistake. Oops, I'm making lots of mistakes. I didn't equip the- the funny- funny flask. Yeah, I think the problem is- okay, yeah. <laughs> involving Ronnie's dark moon, a subtle but important chain. Ranala's full moon and Ronnie's full moon have buffs that are applied after you cast the brand super armor and technically invincibility. So what I'm actually gonna do, we're gonna kill Moog with Ronnie's dark moon. Cause this makes me immune to everything. And cause my charge attacks are now buffed. <laughs> oh look at that. All right now I'm taking damage. Oh, Fia's Dark Mist, you know what? Oh. 
Oh, let's try some stacks. All right, now he has blight stacks, which they don't really do much. It's just gonna dwindle his life. Ow. Or not. Mogi Moog. Let us go. All right, we'll do that. And then stars of ruin. Oh. That did quite a bit of damage. A little comet. Here, more gravity wells. Okay, we're dwindling him. He's gonna do the funny spell. No. Oh, now he's well. Now he's in rage. Yeah, you can't. You can't one shot him with the um the changes. Oh God, it's still damaged me. All right, this is bad. It's kind of hoping I knock him down. All right, he's knocked down. Oh God. Come on, Moog. Oh. I can be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive that. Um, second phase is pretty awful. Problem with this fight is that you're always on your toes, whether you're melee or not. You're always on your toes. Horrible idea, but it, it could be fine. Yeah, let's, let's use bleed for smoke. Oh. Actually, it does work. Problem is it applies bleed to meat, right? But I use a punishment. This is bad. Here, take that. It seems like we're doing okay. Oh, or not. Oh, no. Ah. Let's go spam this ability. Okay. Ow. Yeah, that was gonna end wrong. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. That seemed to do uh, a good number against him. Well, that actually worked really well. You know, here, take another comet. I might die. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, talismans have received a bunch of changes, and then get new game bonuses too that are only past new game plus. So as a rune's probably a good idea here. This is just a good spell. The hit instance is limited, so it doesn't always deal damage on those secondary projectiles. We don't want another dog with spell edition. All right, that fire is incredibly dangerous because it is blood flame. It will build up blood over time. One with the uh, the flies. Ooh, yeah. Second playthrough, uh, this guy be booty cheek. Everything gets incredibly strong. New game plus and above, and it's not consistent scaling. It's double the life second playthrough, and it only gets worse. Okay, we're gonna do this. Nope. It's actually gonna get the uh, the rolling thing. It gives me a little bit of damage resistance. I guess we could reduce our FP. Press. No, I'm an ice witch. I'm so powerful. I don't know what damaged me. It must have been a fly, right? Yeah, maybe I should change my flask. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. There's so many flies. Hey, yeah, this guy better not hit me. Oh. oh, I'm so lucky. Get out of there. Get out of there. Roll. Roll through it all. You know, you know, you, you know, normal things are on you. You're supposed to roll through things. You're not all powerful immortal witch. All right, I think I'm dying. I mean, she sort of is, but but it's not the point. Okay, he's about to do it. Oh, that was close. Ow. Maybe reducing my life was not the smartest idea. All right, he's going to really start. So there are projectile limits, so your game doesn't completely uh, get obliterated. This is something I will mention in every time I play this. There are bullet limits. There is a limited amount of fire that can be placed on the ground. It'll despawn the oldest fire. Same with the flies, but they're all timed. It shouldn't happen, but if you happen to be very unlucky, you also can't reapply fire to the same spot when it's active, because that would be kind of stupid. That's just something in the game. That's just how the projectiles work. There might be, you know, hundreds of projectiles added into this mod, and, and let alone this boss has like 50 new instances. Most of those being just like scripted spawners. Nothing, nothing too fancy. What if I, you know, what if I did this? That was a funny bunny. What if, what if I just casually applied some light? You know, a tick a day keeps the doctor away. Although maybe I should be more careful about that. Um, maybe I should get rid of Primal Wind Blade. Maybe I should put something on to aid my survival. He is just walking through the, the blight, um, but I don't think I can cast it again. Okay, let's, let's do this in the middle of the boss fight, um. Nah, I'm dead. Stamina is probably my best bet. If not, just more survivability. You know what? 
raise defense when health is low. It's just more damage reduction. We'll be fine. It's Ronnie's Dark Moon. And then I'm going to be a Goofy Goober. Give him some Blight. Oh, it cleared it too. See, Ronnie's Dark Moon is pretty ridiculous, honestly. I just do this. It's going to clear the status effect. Like, this is a mod, so you can't do multiplayer. So I'm, I'm kind of removing a lot of the PvP stuff and just making it better for PvE. Since the bosses essentially become raid bosses. Especially on New Game Plus 7, you you will suffer if you try to do New Game 7. Health scaling is a little whacked out, um, but it's supposed to be because it's a bullet hell. And super armor gets a little wacky too. Okay, I still might die though. Okay, just, just keep on running. Maybe we'll get rid of the rolling ring because it kind of redu reduces our stamina quite a bit. Ow. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Boop, 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 boop. Ow, that hurts. How about let's, let's not? Okay, okay, I didn't die from that. These stacks trigger damage like every seven seconds, but it's only one damage, but it's true damage. Death spells and via spells are changed in a way, along with the dung here. There are other ways of applying this, but this is to replace the blight mechanic that exists uh, since it won't affect bosses instead it uh it's just a it's a damage tick now it's one damage so in future playthroughs you are gonna suffer uh, you have to find more ways to apply it might work now but it might not work in the future it does scale off though and there are ways of changing the scaling with certain talismans i'm gonna summon some some help here my minions are doing quite well I'm actually gonna apply some blight stacks to him. There's no limit to how many blight stacks you can apply, but like I said, in future playthroughs, because the health scaling gets so ridiculous, it sort of loses its effectiveness unless you find ways to scale it up. So perfumers can use blight spells and it will be slightly more effective. And you can stack different instances of blight stacks. So every, so dung meter will have its own unique blight stack versus Fia's myth. So they will trigger at different intervals. So it's kind of nice for a fight where like this, where you have to run around. Um, if you have Fia's mist, it'll work great. Spell locations aren't changed. So this combat mod, there's no, oh, no NFC spawns. Ooh. Maybe in the future. This is supposed to be update compatible, DLC compatible. I'm not worried about the damage here, but he looks like he's suffering. So yeah, you know, I guess they can't be bled, right? They're crystal. These uh, these crystallians are doing pretty well. I am basically uh, AFKing this fight at this point. <laughs> Let's apply Ronnie's Dark Mood to make him take more damage. Yeah, I think I'll make that effect stack. Let's also apply Frost. Whoa! Oh, flip. No, 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 no. I might nerf a dual moon blades frost damage a bit. Oh, that's that's quite menacing, but ooh. Yeah, he is, he's enraged. He's angry. I still might be able to kill him. Uh oh, oh my God, it was so close. Yeah, so those can interrupt your cast. You gotta be careful. Oh yeah, they're doing more damage too because he's in rage. Yeah, Swarm of Flies will do more damage when he's in rage, so you will die even quicker. I think there's more application too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The Astial fight is pretty awful, but this is such a great weapon art. Nah, I think I'm dead. All right. All right. I, I think we're gonna have to change something about the Kindred of Rot. Now I gotta re re reorganize where I'm aiming the spell. Don't want to cast a spell. All right. It, this, this has a hard time aiming in this arena. Oh, I died. I think I can cheese him. Right, right, right. This this would not work in New Game Plus. But I think I can cheese him. Like, this is just a skill issue at this point. Alright, yeah, I can cheese him. <gasps> oh, flip. I did it. Hmm. Mogwin. I did not cheese the boss at all. I definitely am not nerfing something right now. All right, on stream though, we'll do oh, another play test, which I'll announce it somewhere. If you like this content, we're we'll doing more of this in the future with more bosses such as Melania, Radagon, and Astiel, who've received massive changes, including Radagon essentially being a raid boss. You can check out the socials down below.